Today, in honor of the 80th anniversary of the release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I'm going to show you how to create Evil Queen Grimhold's poison for sleeping death apples. Okay, so to make our potion, we will need one glass bottle, and any rounded bottle will do. This is the Captain Morgan Loca Nut bottle, so I'm recycling um, the liquor bottle here, but any rounded bottle will work. Some rubbing alcohol, it doesn't matter if it's 70 or 90%. Some black metallic acrylic paint, and this is the Folk Art Color Shift um, Black, and this actually has a nice gold mica in it that gives us a great swirl. Some black cording. A black chalk marker or dry erase marker, wet erase, anything like that. A black Sharpie. A hole punch some glow-in-the-dark glow sticks and I got mine at Hobby Lobby but you can pick these up at several different craft stores and I'm also going to put a link for these in the description down below. A hot glue gun and our label printed on sticker paper and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, since this is a recycled bottle, it has this um, plastic lid that right now says Captain Morgan um, Loconut, and I want to make sure I cover this up so when we do our cording and our embellishment on the top that you're not seeing the brown. So I'm just going to take our Sharpie, and we are just going to color over the whole cap. And now that we have our cap all covered in the black marker, we can go ahead and set that aside. Okay, next we're going to take our bottle and our chalk marker, and we are actually going to draw the um, shapes that we want to make for like the eyes and the, um, the nose of the skull that kind of drips off of the apple. Um, so then that way we kind of have an outline of where we want to put our glue. Okay, so that just gives us a basic outline, and the reason we're using a chalk marker is it can be easily wiped off with just a little bit of water. Same way you could use a wet erase or dry erase marker. It's just something to give us an outline, so then that way when we're using our glue, we have a template to go off of. Okay, so now that we have a rough idea of where we would like the features to be, we're going to go ahead and take our glue gun, and I'm just going to make an outline on those particular areas and that's going to end up setting up a barrier so when we do the other glue drips it kind of will create a blockade so that it won't hit um, the areas that we want to be vacant from the glue. And you can go over this a couple times so that way it's a little bit of a higher buildup. Okay, so that just gives us a rough outline of um, where the features are going to be. So then that way we can do our massive dripping with the rest of our glue. And now we're just going to take our glue and we are literally just going to drip it down our bottle. This may take a little while. Um, you can either start at the top or kind of start at the bottom, however you would like to do it. But we just kind of want to give it a natural edge and let it kind of do its own dripping.
Okay, so now that we have our glue dripped onto our bottle and we have that great poison skull effect, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with our alcohol and then we're gonna add just a little bit of the paint, actually a decent amount of the paint so that we can get that great swirl effect. Okay, so now that we have our black paint in here and it's all shook up and we have this really great gold swirling effect in here, I'm gonna go ahead and embellish the top of this. And to do that, we're just gonna take some of our black cording and we're gonna do that the same way we've done this several times before and we're just going to create the U and then capture that U with our string and then just continue to go all the way around the bottle until the space is filled. And then we're going to cut the end. And we are just going to put the end through the loop and then pull down on the bottom piece and tighten, pull both ends to tighten the loops around the neck. And then we're just going to pull down on the bottom loop so that it traps that behind, which allows us to knot this without any glue. It's a little tricky when you get on the edges of necks like this, but yeah, there we go. And then we just cut this flush. Okay, so now that we have this wrapped, we're going to take our same glow-in-the-dark glue and we're just going to allow it to drip over the top, but I kind of want to see a little bit of this cording. Okay, so now that we have um, most of our bottle done, we're gonna go ahead and get our tag ready for it. Okay, so our sticker is um, actually a, t is going to be a tag. So um, I did print this on sticker paper. You could print this on a double-sided sheet if you wanted to, but the main thing is I wanna be able to stick it together and make a two-sided tag here. So all I'm going to do is take my backing paper off and carefully fold it together, making sure that everything is lined up. Okay, and once we get our tag stuck together, if there's any edges that aren't perfect, we're going to take our black Sharpie again, and all we're gonna do is go around the edges. It'll give it more of a finished look, but it will also 
kind of fix any of those little imperfections as well. Okay, so once we have gone all the way around the outside edge of this, we're then going to take our hole punch and we are just going to punch a hole here in the top middle of our sticker. And then we're going to take some of that black cording we used to go around the top of the bottle and we are going to put that through this. And then we're going to tie a knot. Okay. And then we can place it around the neck of our bottle. And there you have it, our Evil Queen Grimhild's poison for sleeping death apples, sure to put Snow White into a deep sleep. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.